What, what is that presentation? No! Did, oh my god! No! <laughs> what's up it? Hi everyone, welcome back to Outside Xbox. I'm Andy, joined by Mike. Hello! And we are going to be making another video game cocktail yes, here in the are. Ox Bar. The Ox, Ox Bar? The Ox Bar? Sounds good to me. Looks like a bar to me. The Ox is the Ox's it's head. Two exact Oxes. Yeah, well, so it's basically Christmas now. It is. Essentially. Near as damn it. All, the, the, season all the coffee make... shops have decided it's Christmas. Right, exactly. It's the season to make cocktails. Yeah. And what better video game cocktail than something from the Outer Worlds, the new Excellent game, game which I'll everyone's... be playing a lot of over Christmas. Nothing, exactly. It's a great game. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. There is a cocktail in it. A lot of people have sent us this. It's called the Concentrated Distillate. Cool. Which sounds... I mean, already sounds delicious. Yes. Doesn't it? Like... You want to drink some concentrated distillate? It's not quite a tequila sunrise, is it? No, not really. But do you want to know what goes into a concentrated <laughs> yes, distillate? Yes, go on. Right? Tell, me, tell me all about the ingredients. I'll read you the recipe. Okay. One gallon of spiced apple cider. Sounds delicious. One gallon of apple juice. Amazing. Eight to ten cinnamon sticks. Lovely. One to one and a half pounds of granulated sugar. This sounds delicious. One to one and a half pounds of brown sugar. Yes, still in. 750 ml bottle of 190 proof grain alcohol. <laughs> what? And one litre of whipped cream vodka. Okay. Grain I mean, alcohol. Yeah. I mean, okay, so this is a lot of... This is to make a lot of the stuff. I think we can probably scale this okay. recipe down. That's good. For this video. This sounds less like a drink and more like a murder weapon at the moment. A yeah. delicious murder weapon. I mean, you've already got like over two gallons of stuff in there before you even get to the alcohol. Right. So we're going to scale this down. Okay. Probably 10, maybe not even 10%, 5% of these sounds good, amounts. Yeah. Bottoms up. Whoa, <laughs> easy there, Parvati. Maybe you want to work yourself up to whiskey next time. When we combine all the ingredients, we have to cook some of them. Right. And we don't have a hob here in the studio. What, are you telling me there isn't a, an inbuilt hob in this? We're going to put everything in a saucepan and then we'll, Run take, and it, we'll it. take it away and cook it up and then okay. come back with it. So all it'll right. be like, Sounds good. yeah, we all crafty. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with, well, it's just a gallon of spiced apple cider. Yeah. So we're going to scale that down to about 250 mils. All right. We have, uh, this is a Christmas cider, citrus and spice cloudy winter cider. Sounds delicious. There you go. So. Let me get this open. Now, I think in America, cider generally non -alcoholic. is non-alcoholic, isn't it? Not here. Whereas this is 4%. The booze. It's 4%. It's not super, super alcoholic. I mean, it's not 190 proof, is it? So It is not. It is not 190 proof. Okay, about that much. Okay. I'm going to add it to... Get it in there. Mm. Add it to the pan. Christmasy. All right, good. Now, we want about the same amount of apple juice. Good. This is a nice cloudy apple juice. Delicious. Should, uh, should be full of flavour. In there, add that. I'm 100% in the Christmas mood now. I've got okay. Christmas songs playing on loop. Good. It's Michael Bublé is living rent-free in my head. I mean, it's only early <laughs> November. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe charge him rent for November. Okay. Okay, eight to 10 cinnamon sticks. Well, I'm scaling it down again. This pack that I've got here has got, I think, three in it. Three cinnamon sticks, that's what's going on. Cinnamon, here. fair enough. There we go, they're coming out. All right, nice. cinnamon sticks, they go in. Good. Get a, get a nice shot of this, James. Yeah, look, look how appetizing look that, that look looks. Look how delicious that looks. Mm. Just those things floating in there, nom, nom, nom. in that nondescript liquid. Brown sugar, so... <laughs> yes, I can a do nice, this. Yep. Do you want to add a nice demerara to there? Yeah. Maybe half a tablespoon. Half a heaped tablespoon. All right, yeah. well, that's quite a lot. Do you want to add the same amount of white sugar as well? White sugar, yes. Which we also have. Okay. Yeah. In you go. It'll take away the taste of the moonshine or whatever we're using. You want to give that a bit of a stir? Stir yep. that up. I'll use the same spoon, shall I? Uh, you want, yeah, yeah, why not? Go for it. Ooh, very good. Right. Combine all ingredients in a large stock pot. Sure. Don't get it on the floor. I'll That's fine. Except for the alcohol and bring to a boil. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take this off. We're going to go and boil this. Uh, and then we will be right back. So yeah. let's do a transition. We're back. We Hello. have let this mixture simmer. Delicious. We boiled it, and then we let it simmer for ten minutes, and then we mm. let it cool to room temperature. Yes. But now, what, how does it smell, Mike? Describe it. It just smells. It smells like concentrated Christmas. Concentrated Christmas. Going. Yeah. This would be so nice if we didn't also now have to add actual. A alcohol. lot of actual booze. Yeah. yeah. So according to <laughs> the recipe, we're supposed to add 190 proof grain alcohol. That seems And whipped strong. cream, vodka. So I guess in the outer world, you wake up after being in stasis. 
for a long time. I thought you just had a few of these drinks. Well, I'm saying maybe it's like, you know how you can slow down time because your, your brain's gone weird because you've been in stasis for Yes. Ages. Maybe you also don't process alcohol in the same Maybe, way. yeah. I mean, this does seem like a dangerous, lethal dose. Yeah, because, okay, so I went into a uh, alcohol shop yes. in London mm -hmm. and I asked what was their strongest thing they had. You got the sense they were asked had a lot. Right. And uh, <laughs> they gave me this, which is something Polish, rectified corn spirit, yeah. and it's 95%. It's and I was like, oh, that ethanol. sounds fine. But then um, Luke said that he Googled it and it's really dangerous. And yeah. people, and like, people have died, died and stuff. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe we use something else? Maybe we use something else? Yes. Even though I've already bought it. I mean... I mean, okay, let me just have a smell. I just want to see what it smells like. It smells like medical grade rubbing alcohol. Oh my god. And then have a, have a sniff. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that's that's for like cleaning wounds, isn't it, yeah. basically? I'm not entirely sure that's something I want to ingest. And I don't think it would be responsible of us to suggest that people at home ingest this. Well, I don't want you to waste your money, so like maybe if you need to start a fire yeah. or something, like or you could use it for that. If I trip and cut myself, yeah, you can I can use it disinfect, to sanitize the wound. Disinfect yeah. the wound. Um, so instead, we have a backup plan, oh, yes. which is, what is this? Describe this to me. This like. is Cornish Moonshine. Uh, so uh, Luke bought me this, actually. It's unaged white whiskey, which okay. I think should be similar to the sort of vibe we're going for. Yeah, we're going for a grain um, alcohol, so that's what, yeah. corn, is it? Or I assume so, yeah. Something like that. Um, anyway, I think it's going to be more palatable and oh, less... Oh, barley. Barley, okay, that's, yeah, yeah. that's green, that's fine. That is a green. I'm going to tear off this wax seal. We're going to add one shot of this. Right. And two shots of vodka. Okay. If I've got my numbers right. If my, right. my calculations are if my correct. Calculations are correct. And this baby hits 190 proof. Yeah. You're going to see some serious We don't have whipped cream stuff. vodka. It is a thing that exists. It's just not a thing that they sell anywhere no. that I went. So instead, we have some actual whipped cream, and we're just going to top it with it as a nice garnish. James, have a smell of this. Core. Yeah, core <laughs> is right. Core is right. Yeah. Oh, no, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to add one shot. Okay. Maybe 25 mil here in this little I skull mean, drop glass. What, what point of the skull is 25 mil? I don't know, just add a little a little bit. We don't want to go overboard. That's probably fine. That's probably enough. So we're adding that, and then we're going to add a couple of shots of vodka. Everything skulls with you. You're so on brand today. I just like skulls. There's nothing wrong with liking skulls. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not endorsing any particular brand of vodka. I am using the, the Crystal Skull vodka here Dan because... Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull vodka. Because I think Dan Aykroyd is hilarious. Yeah. I'm Dan Aykroyd. Since childhood, I have been fascinated with the invisible world. You've seen that video where he's promoting the vodka and he doesn't start talking about vodka until about eight minutes Yeah, in. what I didn't realise is that the man who wrote Ghostbusters thought Ghostbusters was a documentary. Yeah, genuinely believes all that stuff. It's amazing. Okay, right, bit of stirring. Just gonna stir this up. Yeah. And then uh, the recipe suggests pouring it into a mason jar. Well, we have a jar. leaving it in a basement. Okay. But I'm gonna pour it into a nice glass because yeah. we're classy here. All right. And also top it with some whipped cream to simulate the whipped cream vodka. Yes, of course. Yeah, all right. How's it smelling? Still smells reasonably nice despite having all that horrible booze added. Uh, one there. That's very dark. It know. is a bit, yeah, but that's okay. All right. Nice whipped cream there. On. And if you wanna, yeah, top that with a nice... Generous portion. A nice swirl. That's not, can you do like a nice swirl? That's, what, what is that presentation? No! It's, oh my God. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it. That's mine. All right, that's, yeah, that's yours. Oh my God. <laughs> Can't believe you've done this. All right, pass me the cinnamon. We're gonna give it a nice dusting of cinnamon. Okay. I'm trying to make it nice now, because I, <laughs> since we started doing these videos, I now occasionally have actual bartenders come up to me in real life. Oh really? And complain about my bartending technique. Well, to me. That's why we didn't go to bartending college. On the to tube, for YouTube example. College instead. What have you done? It's delicious. Seems like such a strange thing for people to drink on the outer rim of the galaxy. Yeah. Mega corporations hold sway over all. <laughs> and you're drinking this, I'm gonna pop a cinnamon stick in there as well. Oh, right. as a garnish. Yeah, oh, it's It's, it's going. going. It's sunk oh, it's in sinking there. like the Titanic. There we go. Beautiful. Somehow. That amount of whipped cream did not offer the surface tension to keep, <laughs> to keep the cinnamon. Of yours. <laughs> what have you done? Cheers. All right, well, cheers to the mega corporations yeah. that run every aspect of and our the, lives. That we love dearly. Here in the distant future. Mm. It's good. It's not bad. It's good. I still think it would be better without the alcohol. The alcohol isn't ruining it, though. 
you know? No, you're right. Quite well, often what happens when we make these cocktails is the alcohol ruins it. Yeah. It does, t it tastes strong. Yeah. It's nice though. But not too strong. Yeah, it's like a kind of mulled cider. Mm. You've got whipped cream. Mm. That's Everywhere. the problem, <laughs> having an actual yeah, mustache. I would rank that in the probably the top three of things we've made. Yeah, in uh, that the, it can actually be consumed by human a beings. Nice mold, basically a nice mulled cider with too much yeah. pure grain alcohol in it. So feel free, if you're of legal drinking age in your country, to make it, but do not make it with massively strong booze, because you'll probably, yeah, probably get in trouble. hurt yourself. Should we see if Luke and I want to try this? Yeah, absolutely. Well, First impressions, the glass is pretty warm. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's been boiled, so it. technically it's sterile. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> sterile if we added that much booze yeah. in it. I mean, like. that's what I want to hear when a barman slides a drink across the bar. <laughs> it's, it's sterile. sterile. It's sterile, <laughs> and don't worry, it's room temperature, looks like unhealthy urine, and I mean, well... It's, it's, a real, it's got a real hangover wee vibe, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel more comfortable if I've seen you guys making this, so I just want to enter the room and trust you and drink it. Believe yeah. me, you wouldn't be more comfortable you don't want to see us making it. Making it. <laughs> Well, bottoms up. <laughs> okay. You'll be pleased to know we didn't use the poison. Yeah. Oh, okay. The poison, as you as you can see, yeah. is full to the brim. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I see. The seal is broken, but don't let that fool you. I won't. We didn't use it. any of it. I won't let it fool me. We just used moonshine instead. <laughs> hey, it's Christmas. There yeah. you go. That's there you great. go. It's Christmas nice. in the glass. Nice on that, Alan. Just wait in a couple of seconds, just in case. Just in case you pass <laughs> 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 Through the table, <laughs> face first. That's it. Okay. okay. You like the whipped cream? Yeah. That's my favourite bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. There's probably an entire could, cinnamon stick probably, in it. Yeah, probably because there's a <laughs> staggering <laughs> amount of cinnamon. <laughs> I don't think there's a lethal dose of cinnamon. It's not like nutmeg. Ooh. No. I'm you like? Yeah. It's nice. There probably yeah, is a fatal dose of cinnamon. We just, maybe this isn't But it. you'll die happy. Yeah. You'll die cinnamony. Yeah. <laughs> you'll die yeah. cinnamon spice. So the verdict for the Outer Worlds Good. game and their by extension cocktail. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up for the concentrated distillate. We nailed it. Yeah. So this is what everyone's drinking in the future in space. Lucky. It's all right by me. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks very much. If you want to make this yourself and you are of legal drinking age, mm. do make sure in the area that you're from. And Ellen's also don't, don't use 95% pure grain alcohol. Ellen's just going to do a shot of whipped cream. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, enjoy your time in the outer worlds, and we'll see you next time for another video game cocktail on Outside Xbox. Cheers. 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 I don't mind the taste. <laughs>